Okay, today we'll start with the present continuous tense. Okay, and in the first activity, you will have to watch the following video. You will go to this link, and then uh, you will have to match the pictures with the sentences writing the numbers. Okay, here you have sentences in both sides, and here you have different pictures. Okay, people doing uh, different activities. In the video, you will find these activities, and the idea is that you identify and you match the sentences with the correct picture. Okay? Well, what is the use of the present continuous? Well, the present continuous is used to talk about actions happening at the moment. Okay? For, for, for actions that are happening now, that are happening now, at the moment. Para acciones que están pasando en este preciso momento. For example, I am speaking English now. I am sitting on a chair at the moment. Okay? A grammar structure of the present continuous as all tenses they follow a, a, a different a grammar structure. In this case, with the present continuous, we have to use the subject okay, I, he, she, Tom, Tom, Marta, the dog, they, you, we. The verb to be, in this case, will be the affirmative form, okay, okay, esta es la forma afirmativa, we can use am, is, or are, depending on the subject, okay, and you have the long form and the contraction, the short form, ¿sí? pueden utilizar cualquiera de las dos, la forma larga, la forma contraída, okay, I am, o I'm, you are, or you are, your, he, is, o his, she is or she's, it or it is or it's, okay, they are there, you are your, we are we're, okay. Following the verb to be, we have to use the main verb with ing, al verbo principal le vamos a agregar ing, for example here we have play, okay, and we, we have to use play in the present continuous. So, I am playing, I have to add ing, I am playing football, you are reading a book, he's listening to music, Marta is listening to music, they are watching TV, we are watching TV, okay, so we have the subject, the verb to be, in the affirmative form in this case, plus the verb with ing, and the rest of the sentence, okay, el resto de la oración, que sería esto, ¿sí? Well, uh, here you have, you have some questions, what are you doing, uh, what is he doing, what is she doing, what are they doing, what is he doing, ¿ya? Yeah? Estas preguntas significa qué es lo que estás haciendo, qué es lo que está haciendo él, qué es lo que está haciendo Marta, qué es lo que están haciendo ellos, qué es lo que están haciendo nosotros. ¿Sí? Es muy frecuente encontrarlo en diferentes actividades. Al, what are you doing? What is he doing? ¿Sí? Para que ustedes expresen lo que están haciendo diferentes personas en, 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 el, al momen, en el momento. ¿Ya? Bueno. Here you have an activity. An activity B in this case. You have to look at the previous chart. Van a mirar este cuadro. And then order the answers to the questions. ¿Sí? Van a ordenar las respuestas para las siguientes preguntas. For example, what are you doing? We have listening, I am to music. Well, you have to order them. ¿Sí? Tienen que ordenarla. I, subject, am, verb to be, listening, verb with ing, to music. ¿Sí? Miren las imágenes y um, ordenan la oración. ¿Sí? La respuesta a las preguntas. You have six. ¿Ya? Yeah? Eh, fíjense que a veces tienen la forma contraída, ¿ok? Pay attention to that, the contractions. In activity C, you have to look at the pictures and write true or false. And you have to correct the false one. ¿Ok? Eh, let's do this. Ah, there it is. So, they're swimming. Mm, ¿Están nadando ellos? Well, no, false. So, what are they doing? They are jumping. Están saltando, ellos están saltando. ¿Ok? 
Si es verdadera, no tienen que hacer nada. ¿Sí? Pues solamente ponen la T. Right? Very good. Then, we have the negative, also we have the negative form of the present continuous, okay? The grammar structure is very similar to the affirmative form. To make sentences in the present continuous. In the negative form, we use the subject, okay? The to be in the negative, okay? In este caso tenemos la forma del verbo to be in negativo. I'm not, isn't, or aren't. For example. Ok, plus the verb with ing De vuelta tenemos nuestro verbo con ing luego del verbo to be En negativo en este caso Ok, plus the rest of the sentence For example I am not watching TV Esa sería la forma larga, la forma corta I'm not watching TV You are not swimming at the club You aren't swimming at the club The dog is not sleeping on the sofa. The dog isn't sleeping on the sofa. We are not writing an email or we aren't writing an email. Okay, you can use the long form or the contraction. It's the same, es lo mismo. Ustedes eligen que utilizar. Si tanto en, afirm en afirmative el, eh, como en negative, you can use the long form or the contraction. Pueden utilizar una o la otra. ¿sí? Las dos al mismo tiempo, obviamente que no. Well, and here you have some examples. Okay? I am not watching TV or I'm not watching TV. He is not sleeping on the sofa or he isn't sleeping on the sofa. They are not playing games or they, they aren't playing games. Ok? Long form contractions. Great. And then you have some activities about the present continuous in the negative form. In activity A, you will have to choose the correct option. Okay, here you have some sentences and you have three options. Well, I, ta 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 ta, Coke. I am drinking orange juice. ¿Sí? Yo no estoy bebiendo al, yo no estoy bebiendo coca. Yo quiero decir, yo no estoy bebiendo coca. Yo estoy bebiendo jugo de naranja. Bueno, tenemos el sujeto I. ¿Qué verbo to be utilizamos con el sujeto ahí? Am o am not. Right? Bueno, so we have two, two options. Am not o am. Este lo descartamos. Si en drinking, chao. Well. Luego del verbo to be, ¿cómo tiene que estar el verbo? ¿Qué tiene que tener al final? ING. So, this has drink. Has ING at the end? No. So, descartado. Entonces, I am not drinking. Y le pongo un X. Ok? And the same for the rest. And in activity B, you have to look at the picture. You have to write a negative and an affirmative sentence using the words given. ¿Sí? Acá vamos a utilizar las dos formas del presente continuo. Afirmativo y negativo. Van a mirar la imagen. Tienen diferentes personas. Jason, Claire, Tom, Danny, Sam... Lucy, Dave, Jody, Eve, and Helen. La idea es que ustedes armen oraciones con las palabras que yo les doy acá. For example, number one. Uh, Tom listen to music he sing. Bueno. Nosotros, vamos a mirar a Tom. Listen to music, escuchando música. ¿Está escuchando música? Mm, no. Entonces esa sería la oración negativa. So, Tom... Isn't, verbo to be negative, listening, este verbo con ing, to music, punto, period. ¿Qué es lo que está haciendo? He's singing. Ok, acá pueden utilizar Tom o he. No, usé en he porque yo acá les doy he. Ok, ahí está. Um, verb to be and the verb sing with ing. And the same for the rest. Ok. 